So this is going to be an interesting one for me because I can lean back and relax and watch Carson doing stuff because this is the extra bonus track regarding the Mellanox network cards where Carson promised us that he's going to blow us away <laughs> <laughs> with his... Where's my blower? <laughs> okay, uh, enough, is... <laughs> enough, I take over, I take over. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a system where we finished and I, I told you uh, if you have Mellanox RDMA cards and a lot of OEMs have Mellanox card in the portfolio, uh, they have additional counters. Uh, so if you um, install the Mellanox driver package, um, you get additional counters. And we have here, the Mellanox WinOF2. So WinOF2 is if you have uh, ConnectX4 and newer cards. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not ConnectX3. There are also cross counters. You can see them there too. But uh, the WinOF2 interface is ConnectX4 and up. So here, if we look at these counters, and we have our X cards. So we see here a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you look here, these are the priorities. So let's okay. move, take all the X ones and show them here. So what does it mean? Let's do a little bit full screen. We have from our first adapter, adapter two, we have the untagged, priority one, two, mm. three, four, five, six, and seven. So we should only have traffic in seven. Right. But we don't have a cluster yet, so we can't have cluster traffic, right? Mm -hmm. And we should have traffic in five, seven, and untagged. And the same with the other adapter. So let's remove the priorities we don't. We should not see traffic. So now we it fits on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. We see some um, traffic here in untagged. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of traffic in priority five on the first adapter and on the second adapter. So if I now do the live migration again, and it's not on this host, it's on the second one. So I have to move it to the first one. Mm -hmm. And we look in the counters here. In the moment, we see not priority five traffic. But now, right. now RDMA kicks in and we see the host has priority five traffic send and receive and we also see there are some pause frames involved okay a lot. cool mm -hmm. so the pause frame is um, if there is congestion so um, these are maybe old pause frames but they are increasing so if the switch or the host uh, is uh, just before he has to drop packets, he has mm -hmm. the possibility with priority flow control to send a pause frame to the sender. So the receiver sent it to the sender and says, "Oh, stop your traffic! I, mm -hmm. I can't, uh, I can't handle all the traffic. Please stop." Then he can handle the traffic and then he can send a continue. So pause, continue, pause, continue. Okay. We also see that here. So. It seems that RDMA is working. If you see pause frames, it's a good sign that uh, that the switch or the host will not uh, drop the packets because it sent pause frames. Mm -hmm. So these are the additional counters we have, and there are many, many more. Uh, but these are the most important ones. You see, priority five is used. Uh, so then we have something else. Um, where can I uh, perform here? So. Here's our Perfmon. So let's go to the host. And with Mellanox, we have the possibility to sniffer packets. Because mm -hmm. I told you already, you don't see the, the packets through the kernel. So if we would install Wireshark, for example, I think there is a terminal version of Wireshark that can capture packets. We can't capture them because they are not going through the kernel. And Wireshark implements a promiscuous mode driver in the kernel stack, and it can't see the RMA traffic. But fortunately, uh, Mellanox has another possibility here. So if you install the Mellanox driver under programs, you will have a directory Mellanox. There we have our drivers. And then you see here management tools. If we go here, 
there is this nice little exe Melanox 5 command. And no worries, it also works with Melanox Connectix 4 cards mm -hmm. and with 6 cards. So this little tool, Melanox 5, if you just open it or just uh, execute it, you see that it has a lot of options. And what's important for us is the sniffer option. So sniffing is um, spying what packets are going over the network. So if we do Melanox minus sniffer and enter, we see the options we have here. So we have, we have to give it the name of the adapter. You can only sniff for one adapter, Melanox 100, Nick 1, for example. Then we have to give it a file name where it puts the package, file name, and we use the C drive. Did you do TMP or temp? temp? If you're temp. on one, that's temp. Mm -hmm. Temp. And then we say uh, Melanox. 100 nick one mm -hmm. pcap for example mm -hmm. and then we do start and now sniffer is running and we have our our vm is on this host and we move it now to the second one okay so now you're trying to save 400 gigabytes of trace files or is it exactly. uh, <laughs> <laughs> not power cores power shell <laughs> sometimes it's good to have a second power shell open mm. melanox and we have another one and another one and now we can say Melon Nox 5 sniffer. Uh, then it was name, right? Name Melon Nox 100 Nick 1 stop minus. It's already done. So mm -hmm. I, I don't have to stop it, but I can do it anyway. So now we go to temp, not tempo. It's late, mm -hmm. so we need some tempo here. And we see here we have not 400 gigabytes. We have only, let's say, this is, uh, what is it? It's bytes, yeah. right? It's, right? It's a one Looks megabit like one file. Meg. Looks like one yeah, meg, And yeah. another file. OK, so now we go to Wireshark. Mm -hmm. I have Wireshark on this system, Wireshark. And we just can say open. And if we do, I think, is it possible to do a back here? We can do a backslash, backslash, hard to e1, c dollar temp. Mm -hmm. You get it. We can open, let's say we open, yeah, we open the big one. So, and now we have the beauty of Wireshark. Oh, you wow. see here different windows. Hmm. It's interpreting, interpre interpreting, no, it's interpreting. Yeah, thank you. It's <laughs> interpreting. <laughs> I don't get the word, the packet. So, we yeah. see here, we see the source IP address, the destination IP address, and the protocol is R Rocky. So, mm -hmm. And it's an RDMA read response. So Wireshark is capable of understanding the RDMA packets, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to catch them. And the most important part is here. Here we see the different layers. This is the Ethernet mm -hmm. layer, frame one, and you have Ethernet two with the MAC addresses. It, uh, mm -hmm. it sees mm -hmm. it, uh, it is Melanox cards. Then we have the VLAN packet, the VLAN mm -hmm. tag. And if we open the VLAN, tag we see here a priority oh. five so one zero right. one is a priority that's mm -hmm. a five so our sender is putting in the five into the packet and then we see the internet protocol so it's ip then we have udp and mm -hmm. in udp we have infiniband because rocky is infiniband over udp ip uh, uh, ethernet and rocky one the 
uh, original Rocky is just infinivent in Ethernet. Yeah? So here everything is fine, and maybe we see a packet from the other side. So the two, the, the 52 is answering, and here also we see the priority five. So mm -hmm. our whole um, path from the network adapter through the switch, out of the switch in another network adapter, we have all our priority five is there. And if you have some problems, I've seen um, installations where you put in a five mm -hmm. and on the other side, zero comes out. So the switches are not handling uh, the priorities correctly. They mm. drop the priority because it's not every um, interface on the path is correctly configured to do PFC and then it okay. drops the information. Yeah? So here you have some more information with Mellanox cards. You can do that. Unfortunately, not with the old ones, with the Connectic 3s, but with the 4 and upwards, you can leverage this tool and uh, sniffer the packets and look, uh, uh, look at the packets uh, in Wireshark. So I think that was all yeah, I that wanted is to cool. show you. Mm -hmm. So next video would be, to... we now have to do, Create our customer, right? Or test our yes. customer. Yes.